J Drone here. What's going on, guys? We got the T12 and we got the Hubson H107C. I'm going to show you basic setup of a model on this, and uh, then we will uh, also go over one or two things that I'd like to cover. So, basically, once you have this set up, which I already have it set up, but I'm going to run it through and show you how to set it up, all you have to do is turn this on. Hold this, you'll see the little lights go across. If you update it, it'll say Open TX. I will update this soon. Um, and as you can see, the lights went steady as soon as I turned it on. We'll go ahead and it's good to go, right? Okay, so let's get into this. So to do this, um, we need to press this button. That'll get you into your model menu. Obviously, you would be going down here and you'd be starting a new model menu. Once you get into the new model menu, which hypothetically will say that H107C is the new model menu, press right on here that button right there we're gonna press right then we would name it by simply just pressing this button and then once you get into there you can move up or down for the letters and then once you're done with that all you have to do is back out of it and then you want to go down here just keep going down Keep going down I'm trying to get this so you guys definitely can see it um, really well it's one major thing that you have to do here and it's basically shut off um, the mode as far as there you see mode here we'll go up one that way you could see it, it says mode off okay and then once you turn that mode off normally it would look like there we'll go enter Normally, it looks something like that, okay? So if it says D16, you can't bind it to, you're not using the multi protocol sensor. So you need to just hit enter. And again, we hit enter using this button and D8, LR12. So we'll go up and we'll click off. Once you click off, you could see external RF is available. That would normally say off which will make it say off that way uh, we'll kind of run through this with you off so once you turn internal RF off you're gonna see external RF show up and it's going to be off it'll show off um, and then once that happens you need to hit enter and again we're hitting enter using that one and then you'll go down to multi you want the multi protocol sensor, which are the module on the back. You'll hit enter. You press down to get over to where it says Fly Sky, and then you'll find your model, which it's Hubson. It's looking for it right now, so I'm going to set it here and I'm going to allow it to relook for it uh, simply by plugging this in. And as you can see, it's found it already. It stopped blinking, not blinking, it stopped making noise, and it found the model. Um, so it's as simple as that. Uh, and there, we're back up up at Hub Hubson. It's going to look for it again because I didn't hit enter. We're plugging it in. It finds it automatically. And then once you have that, you want to hit enter. That way it saves it. And then we are going to go down here. Yeah, I've seen some guys using the bind button. I haven't had to use the bind button. Once I put it on that protocol, it started going did it, did it, and searching it. I don't know if it's because I'm using the older model of OpenTX and not the new one. Um, but if it doesn't bind automatically, you could use that bind there. And then uh, auto bind. You could see I have it turned off, right? Um, I don't have it checked. And I'm going to show you why I don't have it checked. It doesn't quite make sense to me. But uh, we're just going to back out of here by hitting this back button here. I like the large H107C there and I like the large uh, voltmeter on my LiPo that's in there. Um, and we should actually be on a different page here, nope. So I'll go back there, that's the page that we should be on. But um, so here, this is what I, the auto bind thing, we're gonna turn this off. I don't have it checked, right? That's off. Sorry for the hand. We're going to connect this and as you've seen in the beginning, this automatically bound, even though that was not checked. As you can see, it automatically bound, right? 
So it doesn't quite make sense to me because I do have another model set up that I will show you. We'll disconnect this and uh, we'll press this button. That'll get into your models. We'll go down to Hubson. It's the same setup as this one besides the fact that I have that checked. And uh, we'll press right here to get into the model. And we'll go down just to show you. Okay, so we're going to click auto bind, right? And let's just make sure that's saved. It did save. So now we're going to turn this off. And excuse my hand, we're powering on the Hubson. And we're going to turn this on. As you can see, the lights didn't go steady. It didn't bind for some reason. Um, with that auto bind check, it's not binding on startup. Now, if we go into here, and this will be good for you guys just to see how to keep doing this. Again, press this button to get to your models. Um, we are on, which one here? I believe we are on the Hubson one. That's what model we have open. And then uh, go up to here. We're going to deselect auto bind, okay? And look what it did. We've deselected it and it auto bound. <laughs> it doesn't quite make sense for me. Um, and then we'll just back out of here, back out of here, back out of here. We're going to turn everything off. We're still on that second Hubson model. We were not on the first one. The one that just would not. I plugged, plugged the drone in and got power to it, turned this on. It wouldn't bind with that auto bind checked. We're plugging the drone in. We're doing the same exact thing. We'll try to get that in frame for you. We'll turn this on. Without that checked, it auto binds. It doesn't make sense to me because you think if you check it, it would auto bind. But if you're starting your controller up and your drone's not binding automatically and you're having to go in and bind it manually, that might be the problem. Guys, I'm J Drone. I do not know this controller through and through. Um, I have figured out how to set mixers. We'll get into that in a little bit. But uh, I want to get more traversed with this controller. I like the controller. Um, there's some things I don't like about it. There's some things I do like about it. The one thing that I don't like about it is... Uh, here, we'll go into... And again pressing left on there will go into your models pressing right will get into there so you can see we're on page two of three go right go right flight modes inputs uh mixers there's your mixers so say we pass the mixers i want to go back to the mixers i can't pressing back will not go you have to go all the way around that's one thing i don't quite care for at all um and then whoop we passed the mixers can't go back you gotta go all the way around and bam nope do we miss it again we missed it again and we can't go back um let's see we're in there three four five stare channel six is the mixers you can't go back to the other page. You got to go all the way around if you want to be on that fifth page again. Um, one thing I don't care for, you have a back and a forward button. They should allow you to use it. But all right, guys, I'm J Drone. If you haven't subscribed, this was just a really quick look at this. And I got a fly buzzing around. Um, subscribe, questions down below. Any tips on this? Any tips on OpenTX? Let me know. Again, I'm not well traversed with this. Later.